Hello and welcome to Youth in Agribusiness, a program designed to bring out some of the youth in Zambia who are the movers and shakers in agricultural production and agribusiness. Stay tuned. Can one start a viable and sustainable business with an initial capital of 100 kwacha or less? Sounds impossible. But this is achievable with good discipline, hard work, and endurance. This is my home where I stay. Actually, I'm uh, specialized in uh, gardening, specifically vegetables such as uh, rape and any tomatoes. As you can see uh, where I'm seated actually surrounded by vegetables. Uh, I began with a 50 kwacha actually. I did a very small piece uh, which gave me a little money to do something bigger than what I did, what I started with. And then uh, it keeps on multiplying like that. The more the money grows, the more the large place that I grow vegetables and tomatoes. Yeah. This dedicated, God-fearing, young, energetic evangelist is a promising farmer involved in gardening in Solwezi, northwestern province of Zambia. Emmanuel Chinyama is a youth who realized his farming vision in his early stage of life. My full names are Emmanuel Chinyama. Uh, I was born in 1994, September 13th. Um, I started my school at Kawanda Secondary School. Probably, um, I, I only had uh, one parent, which is uh, my mother. And so, probably, life uh, by then, it was very hard for me. So, I just decided to go into farming with my mother. And then, uh, that helped me pay uh, school fees. I started with uh, a quarter of uh, tomatoes and then uh, it did very well actually. And then it gave me a very good profit which uh, inspired me the most to uh, enlarge the farm. And then I did to um, 50 by 50. After that I increased to 100 by 50. And then after that, that's when I hired uh, uh, a tractor to do for me two hectares, actually. One side, uh, tomatoes didn't do very well, actually, due to uh, lack of uh, um, finances to treat the other side. So one side, uh, 
uh, didn't uh, give me any money, but the other side did very well. So I decided to change of something. And then I did import and uh, rap somewhere. But by now it's completely done. That's why I'm, uh, I've uh, cleared to transplant cabbage there. And then as you can see, I'm doing now cabbage. Business is not exactly that every time you'll be making profit, but at times you will go through a bad loss and then at times you will get an abnormal profit just like that. So it doesn't mean uh, when you, you make a loss you have to quit, no. You just continue and then one day you'll get to your destiny. With good general school certificate results that could see him at one of the highest learning institutions in Zambia, Emmanuel believes farming is a lifetime activity that should be taken seriously even as you progress in life. Uh, when I finished school at Kawanda Secondary School, that was 2012, actually I did very well. Uh, you know the subjects, uh, the only subjects where I got credits is uh, Geograph and the RIE. The rest is only uh, merit and distinction. My plan was to do uh, medicine, but uh, things didn't, uh, didn't work out for me. So uh, I'm trying to enter into farming difficulty so that uh, one day I'll get uh, uh, in college or university if possible. No, stopping farming uh, is not possible because uh, even when you go into medicine or whatsoever, but at the end of the day, you may need food. So it's not possible to quit farming and then go into medicine specifically. But I'll be balancing up. I go for work and then my workers will be doing the work at the farm. With great endurance, Emmanuel managed to increase his garden field where he grows a variety of vegetables depending on the season. That was to, uh, tomatoes the uh, last season. Uh, it probably gave me some money, which I'm trying to invest into cabbages as well. I've seen they are transplanting there. And then uh, I'm trying to enter into uh, fish keeping as well. I'm trying to dig a fishery, I mean fish pond. And then uh, I want to do as well uh, vegetables like rape and uh, okra as well as uh, import. It's uh, more than a full-time job actually because uh, the one who is employed and the one who is doing farming, they are two by far because the one who is farming is getting cash daily. And then the one who is working for someone, he has to wait for nothing. Work is everywhere. And then uh, farming, you'll be getting cash at a daily basis. Actually, I've managed to employ my fellow youths as well. As you can see, I've got uh, um, f four workers here, but probably there's only one. The others uh, have gone uh, for leisure, actually. It's not possible to be getting water using a container. You water the plant, so I just thought of uh, uh, buying a, a water pump, uh, which is uh, using the solar system, so that uh, to uh, to keep the crops alive by uh, using the watering system. At 19, this young man contributes to household food security as the mother is even able to sell the vegetables to the community from her son's garden. garden. <laughs> Farming can be exciting when you strike a balance between your time for business and your extracurricular activities. 
most of the times I wake up zero five, and then uh, I do the watering and all that things involved in the garden. And then when it reaches 13 hours, start preparing myself. Mostly the times when, uh, uh, the days that I go to church, like Friday, uh, Saturday and Sunday, I usually stop working 12 hours so that I leave time to prepare myself. Even at a tender age, Emmanuel is an inspiration to many and his influence is visible and noted by the people he interacts with. I'm doing farming of tomatoes with my friend Emmanuel here yeah, because we know uh, uh, there is no jobs, much jobs in Zambia. So we can't just sit like that. We can do something using our hands. We are doing farming so that we can achieve something. I actually have been teaching everyone to, to, be, in, uh, to be entrepreneurs. And the man and boy have chosen to go in, in line with agriculture. And I've seen what they are doing. It's, it's so much good work. It's encouraging. And uh, it's good to see youths like them making a difference. So together uh, with youths out there, we can make Mother Zambia a better place, a prosperous nation. Emmanuel's aspirations in life is to become a medical doctor. But before that, he commits and shall continue farming as it is his way of life. Education is a key to success, actually. Knowledge is a key, so you have to, uh, have to inquire knowledge as well. Uh, pursue a, a degree or something like that in the career I intend to do. And then farming actually, it's like a blood thing. It's no matter what I do, but farming is always there as well to support whatever I do. Yeah. Uh, one great man of God said, a dead person is not the one who is in the mortuary but the one who has got no vision. And the Bible says, uh, Jesus became poor so that we become rich. So, as I'm saying right now, I've got a vision of testing the wealth of that Jesus did for me. And the Bible encourages uh, people not to be lazy, but to work hard so that we inherit uh, the grace of the Lord. Yeah. Emmanuel is a humble youth who believes in doing what is right whenever you have an opportunity, as there is a reward to whatever you do in life. We should uh, remember that there is a reward. When you do a wrong thing, you will get the wrong thing at the end. And then when you do the right thing, you will get the right thing at the end. So I encourage the youth out there always to do the right thing. God's time is the best and God is never late. A nation without a farmer is as good as dead. Because in everything you do, you need to have fun. Where you have fun, uh, you buy drinks there. Those drinks come from the farmers. Uh, you come from where you go having fun, you come at home, you need to eat. Yeah, the food that you eat comes from the farmer. So uh, a farmer is a key of the nation. A, fa uh, a nation without a farmer is as good as dead. Yeah, so I would encourage youths out there to support the nation and the families uh, in specific through farming, that's right. <laughs> as a youth, you play a cardinal part in your life's destiny. Engage in agribusiness, whose rewards over time will forever be your testimony. Your destiny, my friend, is in your hands. Do join us next week as we move from Emmanuel, who is taking farming as a business, to Joshua Mateka in Mumbwa, central province of Zambia, who is determining his destiny through farming. For further details, contact the producer, Youths in Agribusiness, PO Box 50698, Lusaka. One day, night wake up, Hassan. The man to one genie, she am Hassan. The more you have on his
Shia Balanza, Ike Kala, Nai Wake Up Asa, One Day, Nai Wake Up Asa, Ni Manje Manje Ni Shia Pasa, The more you have some Ni Shia Balanza, Ike Kala, Nai Wake Up Asa, One Day, Nai Wake Up Asa.